Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and review of the Intex 77 inch Pure Spa Portable Bubble Massage Spa Set. So I will talk a little bit about why I picked that, what the features are, price and everything. And then I will show you how I did the setup outside, how it worked and so on and so on. Uh, if you find this video on Amazon, uh, I will put same video on YouTube with much higher resolution if you are interested. Just look for Intex 77 inch. So, uh, I often buy Amazon's choice products because usually they have uh, good reviews. And I mean, I don't know everything they say. Uh, choice recommends highly rated well priced products available to ship immediately maybe it's even more maybe they have low returns I don't know so anyway it's available in 77 inch in blue I means navy here this is the one I've bought because my pavers are in about the same color and there's even a bigger one I think the small one is for four people then there's a big one for six people you see the amount of gallons water I probably this is maximum uh, load of the water there's a minimum and there's a maximum so probably it's the maximum um, yeah here we have a picture it's uh, nicely inflatable and it has this control thing right uh, at the side it's not built in into the wall it's right beside but it's really close so that's no problem you can easily access it from inside here's another picture it has nice bubbles i've already tested these uh, this is also part of the rest of the video which you will see how this really works and see it comes with four nice beautiful girls uh, but unfortunately i had to complain uh, they were not inside the package i don't know why there was a little bit maybe a problem with my shipping so it says extra durable fiber tech construction fit up to four people easy setup and pampers yourself what yeah anyway don't understand uh here's a video i've not seen i've not uh, been watching this there's uh yeah different sizes and you can order only the spa you can order it with cup uh, with a cup holder with a rest and or with headrest and cup holder the good thing is uh, the intex is the only company or the only manufacturer which produces these headrests and cup holders so when you buy this this spa and you buy this and this uh, i mean the the cup holder and the headrest you will be sure that it fits when you buy i mean there are other possibilities you can buy uh yeah here you see a, a lot of different manufacturers and you never know if this really fits most of them say it will fit but you you are never 100% sure so this is a good thing the price is good I mean you can buy at the lowest from maybe 320 but then usually you have to check the capacity usually it's only 170 gallons and they can be really small if you if you plan for four people I mean four people also with this size you have to expect that your legs will touch each other so you you have to ha be good friends with, with with these people and otherwise it just fits for two people um yeah it will be delivered to the curbside um that was good it's a big package a package it's a package in the package so it's the selling sales package which uh, does uh, have the nice uh, pictures and there's an additional cardboard outside and that was really good because the outside cardboard it was totally damaged it was broke uh, i mean it was totally teared up and even there's a cd room inside which has the instructions how to set up how to use and the cd 
ROM was totally smashed. So you can imagine how it wa would be without the external box. It's, it's a good thing to have this thing. So it has a built-in uh, hot water treatment system. I don't know what, what, what that is. I mean, it has two filters. I've not seen any anything like hot water treatment. I don't know. I mean, there's a, there's a, a swimmer. Uh, I mean, like a thing, which uh, a floater, where, where you can uh, put some, like, uh, yeah, chlorine, chlorine taps. And, of course, you have to use uh, normal pool maintenance stuff for this. You can't expect that you just fill it with water and it will last for forever and water will be uh, the same quality all the time. No, you have to uh, maintain this on a weekly basis, of course, like like with a normal pool, you have to check chlorine level, you have to check pH well level, you have to check uh, hard, hard, uh, like um, uh, alkalinity and, and those things. So if you're used to that, no problem. If you're new to that, yeah, we'll, you will learn it. It, it. It's not magic. I mean, it's just lab learning and doing. So um, the good thing is it comes with an insulated cover. I think this is not visible here. It's, it's a nice cover. It's an inflatable cover so it will really minimize heat loss that's good and heat loss also to the side because it's inflatable heat loss to the ground yeah unfortunately it doesn't have a really thick insulated mat it's just a bubble map a uh, mat <laughs> it's just a bubble mat uh, which, which you know, which you get like when you buy Amazon stuff, of course it's a little bit more robust. So you can walk on it and the bubbles don't burst, but it's not a perfect insulation. If you're planning to do, to buy this like in uh, up to the north, uh, Chicago and use this in the winter, you definitely have to use additional information, uh, <laughs> insulation to the ground and additional, uh, additional insulation outside this is what they describe you should do put additional insulation but apart from that if you're using this in the south i think you can use that whole winter and it shouldn't be a problem here we have some extra information yeah here you see the filter system i think uh, that's a nice filter system because there are other pool sets where you where it's not possible to buy a replacement filter when they break, yeah, you have a problem. Um, this is the uh, floater, uh, the chlorine floater. Uh, it, it's small. Uh, it, it fit. There are only very small chlorine taps, which fit. But of course, I mean, you won't need a big one for this small size. I have to check which size I have to buy. And. But yeah, at least you, you get this thing and yeah, you have these bubbles, 120 bubbles. Um, yeah, you can uh, adjust the water temperature between 68 and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. That's definitely enough. Outer temperature must be a minimum of 50 degrees Fahrenheit okay yeah I haven't seen that so yeah definitely without any additional I insulation it should be uh, outdoor temperatures should be 50 degrees or above in Florida you should usually not have a problem I mean yeah I mean there are days where it doesn't get up to 50 degrees but these days are really really rare especially to the south in the north you have a couple of days but uh, yeah when you are up to north um, like Chicago the problem is that the heater the heater of this thing is very weak it's not like a normal pool heater which you have when you have a compressor like a um, yeah uh, like the, the electric things the like uh, it, it, it's not like a heat pump and it's definitely not like a gas heater it's you when the heating is turned on and you hold your hand in the chat you will feel that uh, yeah a little little bit of <laughs> warm water is is coming in and that's enough when it, when it's warm uh, outside but it's not enough when it's cold really cold outside 
so here you have the size high 28 it's definitely on the higher side there are other spas which are lower maybe 25 26 27 28 is really high and the problem is uh, there's no it's not inflated the, the ground the floor is not inflated so that means when you sit uh, as an average person you will have your eyes just slightly above the rim here and that feels a little bit weird that feels like in a prison or something like that so you need a, a seat so I, I, I have now ordered two seats for that if you don't want to use seat, a seat you have to low an, uh, a, a, a one with a lower uh, side like 25 maybe 26 inch uh, or or even lower that's that that's really important to know okay i think i've been talking enough about the thing and now let's move to the unboxing and uh, how i built this up and how the experience was so i've been blurring this part a little bit but you still see how it works about i mean you have to open this outside cardboard and inside is the original sales box it's a little bit of a hassle but uh, i told you the it's a good idea that they have this additional cardboard because it was heavily damaged outside and even inside the cd room was totally uh, broken was un unusable so you just open that you have to be careful don't take a, a don't use a big knife only really really small uh, to cut through the tapes and open all the boxes there are a lot of boxes and the boxes uh, that the things inside the boxes are also uh, protected with additional plastic covers you can remove the plastic covers even when they have numbers on it i first thought yeah it's important to have these plastic the, the, the numbers on the plastics but it's it's really not important you don't need the numbers on the plastic so you open everything you can open really the whole box everything look if everything is inside everything is uh, um, in, in good condition nothing broken just check all the things and put them down the best thing is if you leave a space in the middle where you plan to put down the spa don't put everything down in the middle like me it's a bad idea so this is the thing the silver uh, uh, mat or the silver um, plastic this comes down to the bot bottom and this is the cover which I have in the hand now this is the top cover this is the inflatable inside of the top cover and this uh, silver thing yeah thing <laughs> this um, you have to f use first is the absolute first thing and here we have uh, the hose I think that's the inflating hose uh, here we have a bag additional bag so you can dispose the cardboard here's the compressor you don't have to do a lot with the compressor first here's the actually the center part so I uh, put everything out of I take uh, took everything out of the box and yeah the problem is the CD-ROM did not work so I had to go to the internet and look for a video from the manufacturer from Intex but the video was outdated so yeah I'm just watching a little bit the video and uh, instructions so both a little bit so uh, the thing is it's important to put this down this bubble mat the bubbles have to be on the uh, to the button so the flat side is on top and you have to put the main uh, spa part on top of that with the drain uh, yeah. I stopped the air a little bit so the drain drainage should be to the lower side or if you have a drainage a dedicated drainage then it should be close to the drainage so I put this thing uh, on top that was easy you have to connect one cable and tighten these three screws 
for the top and it is not like in the in, um, yeah in the video which is online the power uh, the pressure air is not coming from the side the pressure air is now coming from here it's very easy to put this on and uh, anyway you have to take off first uh, this front part so you, here you have to press a button yeah with one hand it's a little bit difficult uh, you, you can take it away like this and then there's a cap uh, for the air it's a little bit secured so you don't have to um, unscrew this from here you unscrew this only here a little bit and then it's still tight it was still tight I didn't know what to do and you just pull it out a little bit it was just a little bit uh, I don't know it was a little bit stuck and I just pulled it out so and then you have to um, connect the inflation hose just push it in I think the opening has to be to the upside uh, yeah upside and then secure it a little bit it's not much it's just very very few it's it, it's very loose it doesn't have to be really tight and same thing on the other side here we have we can fill it up there was a cap here it was really easy to uh, open just uh, turn it counterclockwise and then put the filling hose and secure it to the right side I think I have to twist one more time yeah like this is better so and of course you have to connect it to the outlet so you have uh, power and then it should be turned on I mean at least it should have power you have to turn on to push this button once and to inflate push the bubble um, bubble button so now we keep filling up the whole thing and yeah it, they say you should not inflate too much it should uh, be full but not really hard it should uh, you should see the shape and everything and um, but it should not be too hard so I will um, yeah check then and go from there by the way there was this thing like a screwdriver to secure the three screws on top of the control thing like from here and here and on the other side this is the thing which you use so I now stopped filling at this position I don't know if this is correct but it seems like it has given a nice shape and I can see where it is so you can see it does not match the ground uh, mat, the protection map so I need definitely another person and it, uh, the instruction clearly say you need two person to set the thing up of course uh, when you're alone you can do that it's I mean uh, you definitely can do that I did almost everything till now alone and it worked pretty well but of course it's easier when you have somebody on hand the, the instructions say you should do it always two person it's easier but uh, definitely till now you can do it on your own and there shouldn't be any problem to do the rest uh, on my own as well so in the online video there was a pressure gauge which they uh, put here to measure the pressure uh, but I haven't found it and it's not in the description uh, maybe they got rid of it to save money so you have to uh, decide on your own when it is enough and now I have also inflated the cover also with uh, the part that fitted easily into this uh, valve so that was really easy to uh, fill also using 
the bubble uh, bubble button and still here so I think all inflating parts are now done maybe I have to inflate a little bit more later on part is definitely uh, finished so we can remove this hose and secure the uh, opening it's not needed at the moment so it's a little bit loose but doesn't matter I think um, now what we have to do is we have to align these three uh, tubes to these uh, openings so we have to move the whole part here close to the spar uh, of course we have to open we have to unscrew this and then we try to align the whole thing and then secure all these uh, screws here these things we secure these screws to this side uh, as you can see hopefully uh, it does not match uh, perfectly from the height but more or less at least this thing the most important thing is that the big big tube in the Mac is matching otherwise you have to put something underneath the pump because it's not flexible the other two uh, hoses they are flexible so it shouldn't be a problem to match to, to this side I have uh, also checked now the whole thing after almost 24 hours if there are any leaks and as you can see now here we have the connections between the pump and the spur and it's absolutely dry I didn't even have to retighten or something like that it was super dry perfectly dry from the beginning not a single drop of water loss so it means I don't have any water loss also not from the spa itself and no air loss it's absolutely the same as it has been yesterday in the evening no loss of water no loss of air everything perfect so far so there's one thing about the panel i mean the display during the day as you can see it's really hard to read it when there's direct sunshine on it uh, it's super difficult you have to hold the hand and so it's in the shade um, otherwise it's going to be really difficult to read it's it's definitely not the best display but usually I will be using that in the evening or night so I don't really complain and yeah it's showing the temperature I think it's 38 degrees don't see anything at the moment because I'm recording I think it's 38 degrees uh, Celsius which I've uh, set and it heated a little bit yesterday the evening then I stopped it overnight I started it again this morning and it dropped from 36 degrees for uh, Celsius to 33 I think no 30 34 so 2 degrees Celsius overnight and we had about 25 degrees Celsius outside so yeah uh, let's see how it does when it's colder and but it started uh, heating right away and I've tested if the uh, sensor is accurate and I was holding my hand into the water and it's pretty hot so it's awesome it's ready to go I think the temperature sensor is really accurate and it's yeah as I've already told you it's about capable of heating up by about one degree Celsius per hour two degrees Fahrenheit uh, per hour all, almost maybe a little bit less so okay now it's done I have secured these three um, things and connected this one in the back the big one was really straight I had to bend a little bit this one and this one I had to bend the most I think it's because it's not flat uh, yeah because when I lift this up a little bit it would be straight but I think it doesn't matter I mean these parts are 
made to be a little bit flexible. So time to put this housing or this protection back to the pump. Hope this works. Okay, it somehow snapped in. And now we have to uh, take these filters and uh, put these into place where it is marked with C. You can see that's C. I think we have to just screw these in and the other one as well. That's pretty easy. I have no idea if they are already filled with something, some kind of filter. Uh, it's almost time to fill it up with water, but of course we have to uh, close the drainage cap inside. I think there is just one. And I don't know what that is. And also outside, I think, I guess that's this thing. So I don't see anything. Uh, I mean, when we start filling, we would see uh, if there's water coming out of the... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm filling up now the spa with a garden hose with fresh water. Here, I have it from this side through the pool. Yeah, <laughs> these are these. And uh, here we have some uh, indication where what you can use as minimum or maximum. I think I will only fill up to minimum because I want to use it fast. That means uh, there's let less water to heat. And second thing is this is really high. I mean I've tested this wall. It's um, I didn't expect that. It says 28 inch. It's on the higher end uh, compared to other uh, spas and some have only 26 inch and this has 28 and it's really high so as an average person you will have your eyes at about this level so at this level your eyes will be around here or maybe a little bit above so you have to be aware of this i think i will have to order seats i've seen there are seats available for about 25 dollars on amazon as well i think i will have to order that otherwise you feel like you're in a yeah in a prison something so you and it's impossible to have your arms uh, resting on top here it's impossible uh, it, only when you're like uh, super super high uh, super yeah <laughs> when you're super tall Otherwise, it's not possible. So you really need uh, some kind of seat. So I will order that. We'll see that later on. So I have removed also one filter to see how this looks. It's a little bit difficult with one hand. So I take the cap off. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, so that's that's this filter cartridge inside. I think that should be easy to replace. I remember I have seen that. Uh, on Amazon, I think so. That's the good thing with the Intex. I think it should be possible to buy replacement filters. Also, it's really, really easy to open and close, and you can uh, t take them out and rinse them to remove all the stuff which uh, have been collected inside. That that helps to keep it clean and extend the filter uh, filter time of course and by the way this uh, inflated thing belongs into this top cover so you have to push this thing underneath so you can see it's it, it's like a, a stretch uh, thing and it fitted exactly underneath this cover so you don't have this and the cover so yeah it's actually at the end it's one part and I would make sure that the opening the valve is to the uh, outside not to the inside otherwise you have to remove it if you want to put some extra 
air or yeah you have to almost, refill. I almost forgot one of the most important thing that's the bubbles of course everybody likes the bubbles so how is it yeah not bad looking good isn't that awesome yeah bubbles everywhere and it's not too loud I mean you can hear the bubbles you can hear the uh, compressor I think when you're inside here then uh, you only hear the bubbles it's not even uh, yeah it's it's not possible to hear or, or you hardly hear hear the sound of the compressor so it's it's really good so let's turn it off but the temperature see still 31 and I try to I holding my finger in it and water temperature oh my goodness so yeah I think if I don't forget I will um, put I will write something to the description how it turned out but a lot of people say it takes long 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 time probably for this thing it will take nine hours or so something even when i'm at 31 degrees celsius in, if i want 37 yeah it will take the whole night so it's definitely a good thing to um yeah maybe you can even put the whole thing on an insulation platform especially when you're up in the north and have a cold um, cold floor it will be you will be really you will have a hard time to heat this thing up to temperature I mean the, this the outside it's a really good insulation that's air inside and air is a really good insulator that's no problem on top we have this thing here you can put this on top to see you see that's an awesome insulation uh, what they said never use the um, never use the bubbles with the cover it could cause some I think technical problem technical error maybe it could damage the whole thing I don't know why uh, it, it is what they what they say I would be careful I mean there's no doesn't make any sense to use it um, with the cover but um, it's definitely a good thing to have this cover I would put this on every night to keep the heat and put also the cover on top of that definitely so it's now the time or almost the time to where I can start the heating uh, as you can see when I zoom in you see that the filter is not covered or uh, not both of the filters are covered completely also this one this will this one will be covered soon and this one maybe in two or three minutes I think as soon as both are 100% cover I can start heating up so I'm not waiting till uh, it hits the minimum uh, but I will see what happens I mean this is the chat where the water is coming in and maybe it will be too strong when the water does not cover the chat I will see uh, what happens they didn't say anything about that so but I'm planning to start it as soon as the filters are covered so by the way there's some explanation explanation about the panel here we have the bubbles and also to fill up at the beginning so which we did and so actually the um, which is like a yeah fire so this is the heater here you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit now we are on Celsius I think the temperature is not has not been measured because there has not been there's no water circulating I have no clue what that is uh, I have to maybe this is regarding a filter replacement or something like that 
I will check that in the manual it was not in the video and here of course you can uh, adjust the temperature up and down so yeah, here I found some information regarding this filtration but button it says uh, water filter button this button turns the filter pump on and off the water filter icon on the display screen when activated I think we have to turn on we push this first and only after that we can use the heat and to turn off the heat we have to turn off the heat first and then turn off the filtration after that otherwise the heat the heater will start and there's no water flowing and it could overheat I don't know it is the description is a little bit weird it says when we when you do that when you turn on the heat without the water filter then the whole system will will run 24 hours I have no <laughs> clue what that uh, what what the reason is behind this thing so but definitely it's always good to have the pump running uh, first and turn it off last and only when the pump is running I mean the filtration is running only then turn on the heating so this is what we will do now now I have something about the whole equipment this is the of course this is not part of the equipment we got some um, test stripes for to test chlorine alkalinity pH free chlorine yeah you can buy better ones um, yeah supermarkets but these are the most important levels of course um, there are a few things which I didn't need I didn't need that I know why I got that this was to secure the screws I didn't use that I didn't use that didn't use that no idea uh, where this is coming from these are some uh, replacement um, things yeah you know the name um, so here we have chlorine floater it's a little bit on the smaller side I have a bigger one so because my my chlorine taps which I have been using for the pool they are larger they have a wider diameter they don't fit here maybe I will use the other one which I already have but of course the whole floater system is a little bit bigger I know I will see what I do these are the caps which I secured um, they are not needed at the moment just for storing transportation here the CD which does not work so you see that um, yeah hope you can see that it's totally damaged um, it surprised me that a CD ROM which is uh, one of the most stable things it's damaged and the pool equipment was not damaged but it was maybe on the outside, I don't know, so it was not readable, but yeah, anyway, you find the videos online and only, uh, yeah, from the things which I was telling you uh, should be enough. I mean, okay, for the maintenance, you have to check the manual. This is the um, cover. I mean, first you have to put on this insulation mat. On top of this comes this cover. You can secure that with these straps. So to make it child secure more or less and for transportation you can use this uh, transportation bag that's awesome in the meantime maybe I can use it for for hockey it has a decent size so I think you don't have to keep the cardboard uh, which is really huge so now we have uh, the the filter uh, is is covered now fully covered so there is no air which can come inside so I think I'll try to push this button now so let's see what happens okay that's looking good there's not a lot of water it looks like I can put something on top of that it was not described maybe it's one of the things I still have let's check uh, no I think there is nothing except from that maybe mm, doesn't make much sense actually um, doesn't look like something with a thread uh, yeah 
so we keep it as it is or, or maybe we can use a standard pool cover I'll check it out I think it has the size of a standard valve uh, so we can uh, buy something maybe on um, yeah every pool equipment store like a pinch a penny and buy something and and then you can uh, point uh, the water when it's coming out you can point it to a direction specific direction and a little bit focus the whole thing and now i will turn on the heat it's time to turn on the heat yeah i'll do that now as you can see the uh, green blaze is showing and I t increase the temperature uh, when you uh, keep it pressed it will uh, go up so now it's 31 and I have put it on 37 so let's see if it there is hot water coming in not so much at the moment maybe it needs some time yeah um, I've seen some reviews people saying it needs a lot of time till this thing heats up the whole spa when you have cold water so it can take up to maybe nine or ten hours something like that it's still not really warm I can't feel much of a difference it's, it's a little bit difference but that, it, it, it's not hot so I have to hurry next range hour is coming I have to move to the side it's crazy we have October beginning of October rain season is over especially here at the coast uh, usually rain season stops at mid-August sometimes we have some rain showers in September now we have uh, October 3rd and we still have almost daily thunderstorms and rain showers that's crazy so climate is really changing here in Florida it's crazy we have one record temperature months after each other yeah but uh, it will get colder anyway I'm pretty sure uh, even when it takes a little bit longer this year to get to the first cold front but the cold front will come and there will be time to enjoy this nice hot spa even in Florida so I think that was it of course it's a good thing to yeah I put this a little bit closer um, it's a good thing to look into the manual before starting to use that especially when you have children uh, yeah they say a lot of about chemistry and all these things how to maintain filter and uh, chlorine levels if you're not experienced I think I'm just um, keep going with my existing chemicals from the pool which I had I was doing that for a couple of years so I will do it uh, the same way yeah there's a lot of, of, of things about this here it's a huge huge description it's in French and English I think only Spanish yeah but uh, there's a lot there's really a lot about that and um, it's important to keep keep your children and everybody safe so don't use uh, this thing alone and especially don't let your children use it alone it's very very dangerous and yeah maintain it be careful don't let uh, children jump in and out with uh, anything they will probably destroy this nice thing on the long term you have to be careful um, yeah that there are no punctures a lot of people say it produced some punctures over time I think it it heavily depends on how you treat this thing at the moment everything looks pretty stable I am surprised with everything everything works right off the, uh, out of the box it was really easy to assemble uh, it's easier to have two person but it works with one person 
definitely no question uh, but yeah I really recommend that you do your maintenance you keep the things safe and you keep your safe and you will have a lot of fun with this thing. so there is something which I did I don't know it's not described in the instructions I put this thing uh, the connection here I have the outlet I mean the extension cord here the connection it's it's not covered so in case of rain I was a little bit scared so but I think that there's a, there's a nice gap here inside so you have to make sure that the cables are underneath and now you can still put the cover on top of that and everything is nicely secured I don't know if that's a good idea uh, for me, I mean, the cables can be secured a little bit more. I will do that after that. But for me, uh, it seems to work pretty well. Um, I mean, there's cable anyway here in the area close to the pump. So why not have it secured? Uh, I mean, it's not totally closed. Uh, but it's secured now against uh, major rain. Uh, which I think is not a bad thing. If you think it's not good, just let me know. I have also bought this nice Pure Spa headrest. It fits for all Pure Spa models. This is the nice thing with the Intex. You can buy original accessories and you know they will fit. So other manufacturers you, you do have to buy um, Intex as well but you don't know if it fits. It basically has two options to inflate. Either you use uh, air, either you um, yeah, push, I mean <laughs> inflate it by your mouse or you use the hose from the compressor which fills also the bubbles or you can use water like this black uh, hat you can use uh, and connect it to your garden hose and then you can fill it with water and then it would be a little bit heavier if you like yeah this is how you would have to fill it with water uh, it's a nice single valve really sturdy the headrest itself is nothing super fancy it does not have like a, um, surface special surface it does not feel like leather or something like that it's normal plastic but it's quite sturdy it fits nicely on top you could um, yeah inflate it with the inflator hose but it's almost dangerous because it could be too much air and it really looks nice it has decent size you can uh, put it inside or outside you can um, recess the valve so that's really good so I think it's really another must-have if you buy the Intex hot top what I also bought is this pure spa cup holder it says it fits all pure spa model that's definitely an awesome thing because from other manufacturers you can't do these specific features and uh, tools and things and from the Intex you can buy and you know it will fit absolutely perfect that's an absolutely good thing and it feels quite sturdy there's some instructions but you don't need that it's uh, actually just two brackets at the bottom which you open and put yeah you just uh, put this as a bracket on top of the rim uh, nothing to inflate nothing to screw nothing you just have uh, there's a space for two uh, drinks either you use like a, a can coke or something like that or a bottled water that fits absolutely perfect there's even some extra space for a little bit bigger things so I think it really looks quite sturdy it should last for quite some time and it has a really firm hold I've tested this with two drinks and there's even some space for a snack 
or whatever the best is to turn the um, space for the snack to the inside I've changed that so that's a good thing I uh, think this is a is a must have if you buy the Intex as well as the headrest these two things and probably the seat if you're not super large uh, tall person so it's uh, now a little bit dark but it's um, three hours uh, after I have turned on the heating and it went up from 31 degrees to 30, 33 so that's two degrees Celsius in three hours that would be about four uh, four degrees Fahrenheit in three hours means a little bit more than one degree Fahrenheit in one hour so this gives you some idea how fast or how slow it will uh, go up so but I mean we are in Florida even when it's evening it's still almost um, 30 degree Celsius or about 86 um, degrees Fahrenheit so we don't have any cooling from uh, top side or underneath so when you're up to the north uh, it will heat up slower that's definitely the case so just to give you some indication how fast or how slow it will heat up so now I've been using the spa for the first time and it has been a huge pleasure, it has been fun, it worked really great, it was able to produce the heat uh, which we set but of course overnight or yeah it needs a couple of hours definitely but the walls on the side are really super stable, you can even sit on the, on the walls and it's more comfortable than like stone walls when you have a built-in spa it's definitely more stable what's a little bit bad is these two filters the two filters are really bulky and they're standing out of the wall one is quite stable because it's fixed to the pipe the other one is just very loose and it yeah when you hit it it moves around I don't know what will happen when you move it when you pu uh, push to it really hard. I mean, when you have the bubbles uh, started, you won't see the filter, and when you move around, like when children are in, uh, yeah, somebody could stand on it and probably break it off, and there's a huge leak, and it will destroy the whole spa. So you have to be really careful about that. Apart from that, it was really, really super fun. The bubbles worked. It was not too loud, even when the pump was running. Um, the uh, s some problem with the display or the control panel. The control panel, I found there is no such thing like a timer. Unfortunately, it would be nice to have a timer to set the temperature and then it let it run for, let's say. Mm, eight hours like a pool so to keep it clean filtered and uh, let circulate circulate the chlorine that's not available you, you have to turn it on in the morning and turn it off in the evening or let it run all the time and there's no light on the display so when you have uh, no not much light light outside you go in the spa during the night and you can see the temperature but you can't see the button you have to you need additional light like a torch or something like this to operate I mean or you know which buttons which uh, function have so yeah but there's no light that's a little bit of a disadvantage um, yeah and I will put down the uh, link to order that on Amazon so if you like the video you can use the uh, my affiliate link to order that it will help me to buy such interesting stuff make some videos and there's no disadvantage for you so if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time